Hi everybody, welcome to our, to my school. Hi. <laughs> okay, hi. Uh, today today it's uh, Wednesday, September 24th, 2014. Uh, we just finished, you know, reading after school reading and I have a chance to visit one of my uh, son's school. Uh, I guess this is one of the plot they dedicated to gardening. So there's some raised bed here, uh, including this large, huge, huge grapevine here. And look like some of the plants here are on the raised bed, but I don't think they're really taking care of them. Uh, they have some kind of irrigation here, water irrigation here. But I think this is rhubarb. Uh, they're probably end of the season now, so they really look pretty bad. A lot of insects, uh, tons of insects. Invest, insect invest, here. Invest, look at invest. that, a lot of insects here. I don't know what it is here. Uh, this is probably dino kale. This is huge here. They're going to flower now, so they're done. Uh, this bed of, like I say, red rhubarb here. It's pretty much done. And that raised bed there, there's nothing on it. Uh, this side, oh, well, let's go around. Come on, son, let's go around. So we have this huge, huge uh, bush of uh, grapevine. And I don't know what kind of grape this is, but it's taking over. I guess here's the, the rootstock right here. And it's taking over this entire uh, kind of trellis system. In the middle, they have a wood bench, and you can't even see the wood, uh, wooden bench anymore. It's so much cover. I mean, they really need to prune this. And as you can see here, there's a lot of water here, overflow here. Completely overflow, and of course here on this side is another raised bed, and some of these vegetables it's pretty much done for the season. Of course, in this here is another raised bed, uh, nothing in there. Uh, the raised bed is about 12 feet by 4, feet, 12 feet, and maybe 3 feet wide, 12 feet long. Nice, decent, good size, uh, about 10 to 12 inches deep, decent size with nice uh, hardwood. And the only thing I see that's really doing well is this probably this apple tree here. We can we got some we got some apple. Actually, look at this. And we got some apple on the ground. Look at this. I'm surprised the kid is not picking them and eating them. Uh, but here we have some apple. Look at that huge apple. Look at that. That's a pretty good size. This is a smaller one. But if you look at the top there, they're quite big. And here's another apple tree here, smaller one. This one here. Son, can you reach up and see if you can see how tall that thing is? Go ahead, with it. there's two big apples right there. Just reach up, your hand up. Show everybody, just reach up. So my son's only four feet tall, and so he's about seven feet up there. Yeah, okay. So we, yeah, we got two apple tree here. And I guess some of the uh, stuff here, I guess, to use to show the kid or educate the kid about gardening, a little bit about gardening and science. So I think at least they try. We try the best, uh, but this entire <laughs> project is not really doing so well as, I, as you can see. Uh, and here's a peach, peach tree, maybe about six feet tall now. Uh, like I said, they don't have real any real irrigation here, but so they just I guess water, and they just have this whole uh, water running out, and there's so much water underneath there. And look at this entire entire vine taking over this entire place. Okay, so I just thought I might want to share I want to share something with all of you. Uh, this is a good start for the school to kind of educate kids on, on about gardening and growing stuff and food and stuff. So this is really a positive thing. Uh, but I do think they need a little more educational or maybe more uh, how should I say it? Uh, investment into this and make it even look better. Okay, so well, uh, please let me let me know what you think and uh, thank you for watching. And uh, please tune in so I can post my next video to show you guys. Thank you for watching.